Hi. March 21st, 321, every year is World Down Syndrome Day. It's intended as a day of global awareness, celebration, and as much as anything else, acceptance. Down syndrome remains the most common genetic or abnormality, impacting one out of every 1,000 births in the United States, and higher percentages when the mother is over age 40. It was initially discovered and identified by Dr. John Langdon Down in London in 1862. Then, and for more than a century afterwards, words like retarded, mongoloid, or even freak were used to describe people with Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a permanent genetic disorder. Humans have 46 chromosomes in every cell. People with Down syndrome have 47. The normal human genome has 23 pairs of chromosomes. People with Down syndrome have extra DNA and data on that 21st pair, three instead of two on chromosome pair 21. Hence the selection of trisomy 21 as the genetic scientific name and 321 as World Down Syndrome Day. In my family, we have two daughters. The first was a straight-A student who graduated magna cum laude from Auburn and is now a gifted educator in Gwinnett County. Our younger child, Olivia, is a straight-E student. E for exceptional. E for exceeding expectations. As a toddler, Olivia took equine therapy, riding horseback, often preferring with horse walkers to trot or canter instead of walk, and in one instance breaking away at a near full gallop as a less than four-year-old bouncing on horseback. Good she would job. later take up rock climbing, despite hypotonia and low muscle tone telling us that her upper body would not allow it to do, Olivia would scale 30 and 50 foot walls with ease. Later yoga would be something Olivia would come to practice due to her limber limbs, upper and lower torso. What our family and kids crave most is simply being welcomed and accepted. Olivia is thriving at our current school, the museum school, loving her friends, and most recently, the school play, which she was a major part of, and the school will celebrate World Down Syndrome Day this year with Super Socks Day. I know that being Olivia's dad has made me both a better person and a better parent, and hopefully a better grandparent. Olivia reminds me almost daily to celebrate the smaller things in life, the victories that come with each day. We can all use a little bit more to be happy and excited about. We wouldn't trade our straight E student for a Rhodes Scholar, and I hope all of you have an exceptional week and happy World Down Syndrome Day. With one opinion, I'm Bill Crane.